Every day in Canada, people are diagnosed with illnesses that need treatment far from home. Travel is expensive and financial aid is scarce. A flight gives them hope. Hope Air is the registered charity that arranges flights for low-income Canadians to access vital medical care. Since 1986, they have arranged over 117,000 life-changing flights. Their mission is championed by Give Hope Wings, an innovative fundraiser headed by a small group of volunteer pilots. Starting in January of 2018, two aircraft and crew will fly 20,000 miles, circumnavigating Central and South America, stopping in 20 countries along the way. Give Hope Wings will raise funds for people across the country who would struggle to access medical care without Hope Air. One epic flight will launch hundreds of others. Here's Peter Jennings with some special guests to tell us more about Hope Air and Give Hope Wings. I'm delighted to be with some high flyers today as we talk about the great new Hope Air initiative, Give Hope Wings. Now, Dave McElroy, you're both a pilot and the driver of this idea. Tell us about it. Yeah, Peter. Um, Give Hope Wings is a, an exciting expedition, and our goal is to raise half a million dollars or more for, for Hope Air. Now, Russ, as I understand it, you and Dave then are going to be flying in these aircraft all the way around South America and back, back in prizes the 20,000 miles. That's correct, Peter. We're going to fly around South America. It's going to take about 60 days, and we're leaving in early 2018. Excellent. Now, how do people and corporations support this initiative? Great question. Glad you asked that. So they can go to our website. It's givehopewings.ca, or alternately, they can contact one of the crew, and we'll take care of them. Wonderful. Now, Russ Airy, I noticed your plane is a little bit different than, than uh, Dave's. That's correct. It's the same manufacturer, home-built aircraft, but just a little different style. Mine is an aerobatic. I actually built my airplane. It was a four-year project that actually took me seven years to complete. <laughs> wow. And um, when you're flying around South America, how long would you fly on each leg of that trip? Well, it's going to vary. We, get, we have to have certain stops. Not every place has fuel for us. So it's going to vary between two and four hours a flight and maybe two flights a day. Now, I couldn't help noticing first choice hair cutters on the side of your plane and also on Russ's plane. Tell me about that. We're just delighted that First Choice has come on board as our title sponsor. This is a massive contribution that they've made. Uh, their, their donation to this project will fund no less than 200 flights, Hope Air flights. Like, uh, like Hope Air, they're coast to coast. They've got shops in Newfoundland, Vancouver Island, and we're just delighted to have, and I'd like to introduce Athena Kalkanis, who's the brand director for, for First Choice. So Athena, thank you very much for supporting this initiative, but tell me, what, what, what's the connection? Why would First Choice Haircutters want to uh, be a supporter? Well, First Choice Haircutters is a company that really focuses on giving a great experience to our guests. And, um, you know, we're a family brand. So we really, really um, feel like we're part of the community and we like to give back to the community. And, you know, being part of Give Hope Wings is just a fabulous way to do that. And we're really excited to be part of this organization. I am delighted now to welcome a very well-known Canadian, Canada's first woman astronaut, recipient of the Order of Canada and at least 27 other honorary degrees, Dr. Roberta Bondar. Dr. Bondar, welcome. My pleasure to be here, thank you. You're very welcome. Um, now, I assume it's because you've got so much extra time in your hands that you've agreed to be patron for the uh, Give Hope Wings campaign? Right, no, not extra time, but it does combine two of my loves, which is aviation and medicine. And I, I just think this cause is so important to all of us, and I'm just delighted and honored to be able to lend my name. Well, we certainly appreciate it. I want to go back uh, to your famous uh, trip around the Earth so many times in the space capsule. Eight days, I think you were in space. Is, is there anything that stands out as a unique memory? Well, I think when I flew over Canada, it was probably the most remarkable thing. I was listening to the national anthem through my earbuds. And looking at this extraordinary country, mind you, we're going pretty fast, eight kilometers a second. But the country, even at that speed, was still very, very big. It really reminded me of how large a country we have when we say we're Canadians. It reminds me when I was very, very young and wanted to fly. But there was all kinds of things in my hometown of Sault Ste. Marie that we couldn't access. 
And certainly when people had some medical issue, they would go down to the United States because the road wasn't even finished going down to Toronto. So being able to support other people in our vast land, to be able to bring them to medical aid and attention quickly, and to be able to reunite them back home again, is very important to their health and happiness, and then therefore to the whole health and happiness of our whole country. Very well said. Thank you, Dr. Bondo. My pleasure. Thank you. Don't forget, givehopewings.ca. You can support this initiative both as an individual and as a corporation. Thanks for being with us.